I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. T-Mobile is introducing technology that would allow multiple phones to share the same phone number. Oh yeah, that won't be awkward at all. Uh, wait a minute here, uh, did you mean to send this half-naked picture of yourself to me or my daughter? Some basketball viewers enjoying March Madness on Friday night saw TV commercials thanking Republicans for repealing Obamacare. However, as most of the world knew by then, Obamacare was not repealed. But, you know, since everything now is fake news, well, we can claim whatever we want, right? Men land on Jupiter! Tom Cruise appointed to Supreme Court! We can claim anything! In England, a mugger grabbed the night's receipts from a local bowling alley as the manager was heading to her car. She screamed for help, attracting the attention of co-workers who took off after the thief in the parking lot. The chase continued until he ran up to what he thought was his waiting getaway car. Well, he opened the door and jumped in. He'd climbed in to an unmarked police car which was patrolling the area. Officer Karma, always on the job. Well, the final four is all set. U.S. congressmen from the school states have a little bet on who's going to win it all. The losers have to vote in favor of the next health care bill. A man armed with a hairbrush and wearing a leopard print robe attempted to rob a McDonald's in Groves, Texas last week. Cops spotted the suspect fleeing the scene and after a brief foot chase, he was taken into custody in the parking lot of a Cricket Wireless store. <laughs> wearing leopard print? Armed with nothing but a hairbrush. Yes, that's going to be effective. <laughs> is, this <a> guy, <laughs> is this guy a robber or is he a VeggieTales character? <laughs> oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? <laughs> well, Oregon police say an intoxicated man told police that he was uh, showing off his new Subaru when he crashed it into a house. More accurately, the car went through a yard and hit a power pole before crashing into the house. Uh, the driver was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence, which should not, shouldn't be a surprise to anybody here. I mean, in fact, they should have known that this was dangerous when he started off by saying, Look, Ma, no hands! The park in China is using facial recognition technology to roll out shorter than usual strips of toilet paper in an effort to make sure no one takes more than their share. That's right, a robot is controlling how much toilet paper you get to use. Ooh, the janitor at that park is not going to be happy with this situation. You probably haven't heard of Simone Guccia, uh, but she's an aspiring German actress and model, and she was spending some vacation time at Cocoa Beach in Cape Canaveral. Well, at one point, she decided to check out the ocean and waded out about waist deep. She said there was nobody in the water, not many people were around. I found the emptiness beautiful. And the fact that other people started running onto the beach, that didn't seem to alarm her at all. Then, when people started waving frantically at her, well, she thought they were just being friendly, so she waved back because she did not see the 16-foot tiger shark with his large fin sticking out of the water swimming directly behind her. She did get out of the water safely and didn't really believe the story until someone showed her a picture with the large shark clearly in view behind her. Tiger sharks are a common occurrence in the waters at Cape Canaveral and they are considered highly dangerous to humans. Simone said after seeing the picture, she became terrified and won't be going in the water again. Uh, okay, do, do people just not watch the movie Jaws anymore? I mean, there is no way you're getting me into that ocean. I mean, heck, I don't even like the shallow end of the swimming pool. In fact, if you play the Jaws theme music, I won't even use a hot tub. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. For DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar.